Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Wherever you are, whenever you are, hello. Thank you for watching my videos. It's Mike. It's May 10th, 2009. Coming up this week, secret group is about to meet. <clears throat> you may have heard of these particular group. Uh, it's called the Bilderberg Group. Now, there is a, a key team behind the Bilderbergs, um, which includes Henry Kissinger, David Rockefeller, etc., etc., etc. Now, what, you, what happens every year is they invite various politicians, uh, corporate entities, and also uh, some journalists, members of the media, to come along and hear discussions. Now, each year they have a different set of discussions, mainly relating to policy. Now, this year's meeting is going to be taking place uh, just south of Athens, in a little place called Velegmeni. Velegmeni? Uh, Greece. I think my pronunciation is almost correct. <clears throat> Daniel Estulin last week uh, was out doing a little press tour pumping for his book. New book coming out. But basically he's uh, come out this, uh, this week and said that this week's agenda will be uh, centered around whether the failing economies of the world will suffer a long drawn out depression or whether there will be a sudden recovery, uh, something more like a V-shaped kind of recession. Now, of course, my view is that uh, more than likely there's nothing they can do. It's still going to be a depression. What we're seeing right now in the stock markets is a little false um, bull market, but uh, it's going to swing down again, much as it did at the beginning of the 1930s. But anyway, as uh, I won't go into that because Vision Victory had a really good piece out on Friday uh, talking about what's happening with the existing recovery of the economy, nor will I talk a great deal about the unemployment numbers. The USEX numbers are still shooting up. If you look at shadowstats.com, you'll be able to see that um, the unofficial Shadow Stats unemployment figure for the United States has just touched 20%. So don't believe this nonsense about 8.9%. And of course the April numbers will more than likely be revised higher. The fact that it came out at 539,000 is due to the fact that the government has hired in the order of 60 to 70,000 temporary jobs, created these temporary jobs for the census coming up. People going out knocking on doors, finding out what's, who's living where in the United States of America. Uh, of course, you also should know what the census really is about, but I won't get into that in this video. Anyway, Bilderberg. So this week, uh, <clears throat> they're going to be debating the state of the economy of the world. Now, one of the things that's just happened is that WikiLeaks has managed to get hold of a number of older Bilderberg meeting reports. Now, you may look at them and say, well, these are just dodged up. No, what's happened is somebody scanned these and converted them into text so that you can edit them. Now, one of them is the original document scanned as it appeared originally from 1980, I believe, was the report. Well, it might be the 1963 report. I don't know. I looked at all of them. If you follow through on these reports, you will see that as early as 1955, they were discussing the European Union. Now, you must remember at the time, Germany was divided. How did they know that Germany would become undivided and become a rather large part of the European Union? Additionally, for viewers in the United States, you may not be aware of this, but the European Union has a larger GDP as a whole than the United States of America. Well, at least it was last year. Mind you, I mean, everyone's pretty much sinking the same way around the world this year, so sure it'll be the same. So I thought I would present a number of articles about Bilderbergs and the old Bilderberg group uh, meeting memos. I also link an article to the Independent from Ireland. Mystery group in the driving seat. This was printed yesterday. If the finance minister wants, really wants to know in depth what's going on with the global economic firestorm, as he puts it here, all he has to do is ask the people who created it. Uh, yes. And finally, what does this have to do with you and me and everyone else 
out here in Europe. Something you may have missed. Let me just pull the article up here. The European Treaty clears a hurdle on Czech Republic approval. <clears throat> the Senate of the Czech Republic has approved the Lisbon Treaty. Uh, of course, it's still down to the President of the Czech Republic to actually sign the document. And he's backpedaling a little, basically saying he's not going to sign it unless Ireland agrees to the Lisbon Treaty in the referendum coming up. Now, the date for the referendum of the Lisbon Treaty in Ireland has not yet been finalized. It is, however, anticipated to be October, although there have been news reports it may move closer to June or July, depending on how things go. Well, if the market actually does swing dramatically on Monday, and if, as predicted, the commercial real estate sector is the next one to go bang, could well be sooner than October, but we shall see. So we wait, we watch, and we wait. Have a good one, folks. Peace, love, understanding, think about things. Keep watching. Bye.